listening to our gut brain. Messages from the gut at the first level may include the rise and fall of the abdomen, the distension or tightness of the abdomen, rumbling sounds from the intestines, lightness or queasiness, dull pain or discomfort, or knotted butterfly sensations in the stomach. Listen to the deeper sensations and emotional messages that are reflected from your gut brain. They may be feelings of safety, ease, and settlement, or unsettlement, insecurity, worry, excitement, or fear. Continue to stay anchored in your breathing and in your body, relaxing the physical as well as the emotional feeling of your abdominal area with your mindful breathing and relaxation. Smile, rest, and release any tension and pain in every pause between the in-breaths and the out-breaths. Congratulations! As you are practicing these exercises, you are being a soulmate to yourself, present to remember, to know, and to care for what is in your body and mind. Every single practice that we offer from mindful breathing and sitting meditation to mindful walking, mindful eating, mindful working, mindful speaking and listening to deep relaxation is to train our mind to stop running away to the past and to the future. In other words, we stop the runaway horse of our unconscious habitual actions. You may argue that these practices work only in the calm surroundings of a monastery, which is unlike the busy life you live out there. In fact, these practices work well even when you live a busy life in surroundings that look nothing like the serenity of a monastery. When we do our practices, we will benefit from them at the deepest levels of the mind and body. These practices serve as a special training for our wired mind so that it becomes cooperative and loving, allowing us to enjoy our life journey with a deeper sense of purpose and ease. They help the mind to dwell in the here and now, so that we can live our lives freely and touch deep happiness.